and welcome, my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I am bringing you a first impressions with the Glitty Cosmetics Iron Song palette. This is a palette that I saw on Hugh Raven's new makeup releases of videos and I just decided I had to have it. Uh, it is from the UK and it was £15 and I paid for tracked shipping which was £7.50 so it was £22.50. Um, I ordered it on the 2nd of March and it got here in nine business days which is pretty wicked she was really quick at uh, she was really quick at sending it my way so for me it cost me $44 including postage from the US and look at the package it came in it is beautiful holographic nice and compact I am wearing the look that I'm going to show you at the moment uh, came beautifully wrapped and it is very nice and snug in there. I've got the beautiful logo from Glitty Cosmetics. And here is the palette. It has a little plastic casing. And here we are. So I'll show you some swatches. There aren't any names of the palettes, so I'll probably just do it over music. I'm not very good at swatching, but I know this is a palette that's probably not around a lot, so it was worth doing swatches. Um, I'll start showing you. I... Well, no, look, let's do the look. And then after the look, I'll come back and show you the swatches. So I will see you in a minute. All right, hello. So we're going in with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer, just patting that down. And then I'm using that yellow just on my inner corner, just for a bit of extra bang. It really blends pretty well. I do quite like it for a yellow. It's not bad. What do you reckon? Then going into this darkish green, and I'm just putting that in the middle of my crease, or like up just above the crease, and giving a bit of a gentle blend to it. I like this green. I'm looking forward to playing with it a bit more. I'm going in with that dark purple now. And this is one of my favorite con like techniques to do where I draw a like triangle on the outer corner and then fill it in and then slowly blend that out. You're about to see in a moment just how much fallout this shade had though because it kind of went all over the shop. It is pretty though and it's nice and pigmented. Now I'm going into that dark blue and I'm just going to blend out the purple with it. And that's predominantly just because I like blue better as a colour and I wanted to try out every single shade for you today. So I'm using that blue to blend that into the inner crease. I don't know how I feel about this final effect, but it's not bad. I'm just cleaning up the mess that I made. I'm very glad that I was barefaced for the beginning of this. Going on my ColourPop concealer, and this is the white one. I think it's Fair 00. And I'm just cutting my crease very messily like usual, if you've ever watched me. Now using the green shimmer, and it's got a nice little pop. I am really looking forward to just using the shimmers a bit more. I want to see what kind of bang they have like by themselves and stuff like that and maybe not over a white concealer. I think they've got potential. Then going in with that purple shimmer, I'm putting that in the outer corner. I really did try to use every single shade for you guys. I hope you're enjoying. Now this is what the look looks like at the moment and I quite like it. Now I'm going to touch on those glitter shades and I'm trying to go in with a brush and it, it, it's alright, it's just a bit spaced out. I'm using my finger. It swatched really well my finger, but it just it didn't really come off as well. And it's more like a nice little glitter effect. It's not bad. So I've come back on my full face. I'm sorry, today I'm not listing it. We are uh, five hours away from me flying overseas. And I'm sitting here editing this video for you guys. So I just don't have time to list all the makeup today. But I hope you appreciate. This is the Prance Colourpop Eyeliner. I love this one. It's a really nice one for your waterline. Adds a bit of bang. Then going in with my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. I did do a lot more layers than this. I'm just showing you this bit because why not? And here is the final look. Let me know what you think of it. What do you reckon? Um, I'd absolutely love to know what you think. Now I'm going to take you into some swatches. Thank you. Alright, so going through the swatches, we've got the yellow shade. It looks quite pale, but you saw it on my eye. And it builds up quite nice. It's a good yellow the green, um, there's a dark blue and the dark purple. When you look at them in the palette, they look quite similar, but they are very different on the eyes. And they perform quite well. I did end up using the blue just naturally, because I like blue more than purple. We've got those four shimmers um, that look quite, that are quite a nice soft formula. They're not like a super bang like Juvia's Place, but they're a, the standard formula. The glitter shades at the bottom are uh, probably, they're funny and if you look at the swatches 
they just swatch a bit funny but they're more like tap on thing then they're hard to get off your finger too so let's have a talk about these shades I got quite a lot of fallout from the darker mattes but they did look I do like the the way that they blended and the way they performed the shimmers were quite nice and I trying to chuck the glitter in I think it's done alright but I tried to put as many shades on my eyes as possible because I knew I wasn't going to be able to come back and do a uh, any more looks with this video for you before I go away and I wanted to see uh, get as much of an idea as I could overall I think this is a great palette for $40 and $44 including postage it's pretty reasonable it's got a beautiful mirror uh, it's white clean cardboard the packaging was beautiful and yeah the pressed glitter formula is a bit funny but it is quite pretty and I think it just I need to work out the best way to approach it brush definitely wasn't it think it was kind of there maybe I need a sponge or something I'm not sure uh, if you've got any tips for what you reckon would work well with these let me know I definitely am happy to try and incorporate them overall this is a beautiful green and blue palette I'm really happy I bought this and I'm excited to play with it more uh, let me know what you think of today's look uh, of this palette have you seen glitty cosmetics around um, I think this is definitely a brand that I probably would buy from again uh, Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by and watching today's look and this first impression. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, you know, feel free to subscribe if you like doing that sort of thing. <laughs> um, anyway, I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.